Today on the channel, we slither into another review with the Mattel Creations Masters of the Universe Origins exclusive Lady Slither. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review and today on the channel we got a special one as we got the Mattel Creations exclusive Lady Slither but for all your Masters Universe needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free. We got to get a deal out there. You guys know how that goes, but you're not going to find Lady Slither at the Entertainment Earths of the World. She was a Mattel Creations exclusive, has since sold out, so you're looking at the aftermarkets from here. Definitely a struggle with these Mattel Creations, but, but they do give you a lot of warning when they're going up for sale, and the last few of them, they've lasted at least a good hour or more, so it is up to us to set an alarm clock, get ready for that. Be there or be square, as they do say, and I was very fortunate as you guys remember the long story tale of the old frogmonger on the channel. Well, frogmonger got lost in the mail for me, so I didn't get any of my frogmongers. Thankfully, good friend of the channel, pro wrestling, Midwest wrestling legend, Gay Octane. We always kind of help each other on these. We always order extra just to cover each other on these, and that's what we did. So luckily, he had two extras. I got those frogmongers from him, so... I ended up working out, but unfortunately FedEx lost my Lady Slither this week, and it spent two days in no man land saying it was unreadable, they didn't know where the address was, well thankfully better late than never, I finally got my Lady Slithers in the mail. So I did have these. Now I have three of these. Of course, one for my min on box and min on card collection, one to open up, and I have one extra one. And I'm really thinking about that extra one, opening that up as well so I can display both of her looks. We'll see what happens right there. But one thing we know is going to happen for sure in this very review is we're going to do this unboxing like we're going to do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this is a deluxe origin style figure. Not quite like the King Hisses, Horde Axe, uh, Battle Armor, He-Man, Dragon Blaster, Skeletor, that kind of thing. More along the lines of the Infantry Guard uh, from the Eternia, uh, the Big Lots one, all oh, Big Lots, uh, Moss Man, things like that. It's almost more akin to that style packaging. However, we get a little twist and turn with almost a Super 7-esque covering on this one here for old Lady Slither. Look at that. So this does just slip over the top of this. So very deluxe feel on this one, which I'm here for. You got a very uh, embossed cover here. You got the feel to it. Feels really, really nice. Of course, Snake Men on the top. And then in the back, we got a heck of a blurb here for old Lady Slither. And Lady Slither's not a character I'm very familiar with, but definitely sounds cool, definitely looks cool. But let's read the back. Let's see what it says about Lady Slither. In her time, Lady... And what is time? Maybe Lady Slither will know. Maybe she'll explain time here. Lady Slither ruled the Snake Men as their Queen Empress, and all the Snake Men lived with one singular purpose, to serve her every wish. Lo, Lady Slither wished nothing more than for the snake home planet of Nahaz to be the center of the universe. Such a desire would unravel the very fabric of reality itself, but not time, not time. And so the most powerful cosmic beings in the multiverse united to banish Lady Slither to the scale betwixt worlds, saving all. It was only a delay, however. The snake men returned to Eternia, finally freeing their queen empress from her exile. Now the masters of the universe must stop Lady Slither's poison plan before the snake men strike definitely here for that see you later goodbye cool blurb a big blurb on that one there and there she is in all of her lady slither glory beautiful packaging big window box snake men logo lady slither down there beautiful artwork that wraps around the top masters of the universe logo looking good she is the evil slithering viper is lady slither and it looks like fangor's little pet there on the side and then uh, you get nothing too fun on that side. And then on the back, big artwork there. Look at some figures that might be to come. We'll see what happens with that. But she's ruling from her throne up there, looking really, really nice. Definitely here for this one. Definitely excited to get this one out of the package. See what all the fuss is about. And look at that. Even some instructions on the side right there. I wasn't expecting that. 
So it shows you how to do it, which I think most of us, if you're familiar with this line, will be able to figure that out, but still nice to do. And oh, we got a comic book back here. Can I get it out? I think I'll be able to. I think I feel like I can. I feel feel like if I put my mind to it, anything is possible. And that's a really good motto to go. My dad told me that when I was a little kid. He still tells me that now. See you later. Goodbye. He says, just put your mind to it. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. See you later. There you go. Goodbye. All right. We got this uh, comic book here. We're going to pull this one out. Lady Slither. Can we get Lady Slither out without ripping or getting the tape on here? Come on. There we go. There it is. All right. See you later. Goodbye. We do get the comic book here. Sword of the Serpent. And we got King Hiss looking only like a King Hiss could look if he was in a mini comic book. And a little bit more deluxe to this comic book as well. Beautiful artwork. I'm sure it explains a lot of her story. It even shows her chopping off King Hiss's head in here. Oh, that's a bad day at the office for old King Hiss. Uh, so there's uh, definitely some fighting in the ranks. There's a, a blood feud between the Snake Men and Snake Woman in this case. Cosmic He-Man getting a shout out as well. Beautiful comic book. How about that? Now we get down to the figure itself. We're down to business here. There's old Lady Slither looking good. All kinds of stuff going on. Some new, some new stuff. Some very new stuff with this set. And then some old stuff as well. And we're going to get down to all of it here. In a second when I get her out of the package. Nice not to have a bunch of twist ties holder in. I'm definitely here for that. Oh, there it is. See you later. Oh, twist ties throughout the air. There it goes. All right, let's get down to business. There's a lot going on here. We do get weapons with her. Now, we do get the snake staff going on in a very cool yellow color. And I've talked about this before. We got this with Tila back in the day. I would have loved to have this one in this color when I was a kid because you guys know what I use this for in my playing days. I put this with Serpentor. And Serpentor, he'd be impaling Duke all day long, like lawn darts is what he'd be doing. He'd be getting old Duke with this all the time in my G.I. Joe fig fed. This one especially because it kind of matches Serpentor. But definitely looking cool right here. Love the snake on the end. A lot of uses out of this one for sure. But a beautiful staff. Definitely here for that. But this is definitely new. This wavy kind of a knife here. It almost looks like a fire knife. It almost looks like a flame going. But it is all in an orange color. Does match with that one there. So that is her two weapons of choice, I guess we'll call it. Then we get down to business here, and it is a two-in-one figure, which I think is very cool, and it's tough not to have two of these loose when it is a two-in-one, because I'm just sitting here saying, which way do I display it? Which way do I go? So you got two options. And I guess we'll look at the option that's out of the package first, and this reminds you a heck of a lot of Tila and Eva Lynn. Of course, a lot of reuse from that, and that's part of the course of this line, as we do know here. But definitely looking like that. Of course, a new head for her. And she does have a beautiful purple cape that would make Lando Calrissian blush. There's no doubt about it. Cape season running fast, running hard, running free. We're here for that all day long. It is truly in the thick of cape season right now. But definitely looking good here. You got that green kind of skin tone to her. Uh, it looks really good against the red of the boots, the red of the Eternia uh, loincloth, I guess we'll say. She's got the Lady Slither Championship belt going on. Snake Men logo right there in uh, her bra top, whatever you want to call it there. She's got some bicep bands and forearm bands going on. Two gripping hands looking good. Got a nice tiara type thing here with a little snake emblem. Of course, the green skin. Got the slit eyes going on definitely looking good she definitely has some long hair that looks really nice as well articulation arms do go around for us side to side at the elbow single jointed at the elbow as well hands back and forth of course waist back and forth big old splits if you do need them uh, single jointed knees very tight on the knee department single jointed back and forth and of course boot cut and then you get the ankles back and forth as well so our usual masters universe origins articulation style definitely looks like a ruler here and i'm sure she'll fit on a mattel ringside collectible stand what do you know fits perfectly on a stand right there and of course the fun part with her though is pop her off at the waist and you just leave those legs standing there if you want to then you pop her into this bad boy so it's a little bit of a uh, a middle piece, we'll call this one. A little middle piece here. Pop that on like so. And then we get the big snake tail here. Looking very cool. You get articulation at the top, articulation in the middle, articulation down low, and then the snake tail at the bottom here. Just curling around, wrapping around. Looking very cool. Looking very sinister. Looking very snake-like, of course, as you can imagine. Then you just plug this in here. And man, you're off to the Lady Slither races. How creepy is this? This is nightmare fuel if there ever was one. Half snake, half lady, all Lady Slither at the end of the day. Uh, definitely looking cool, but I see this, and once again, I go right back to G.I. Joe. 
Man, oh man, get me a Galobulus G.I. Joe classified figure. I want some Galobulus action. Give me the Nemesis Enforcer. What's a Nemesis Enforcer? I'm not exactly sure. We'll just ask Sergeant Slaughter. He could tell us, I'm sure. Uh, get us a Pythona. Let's get that going with the classifieds. That's what this reminds me of. I'd love a big old Galobulus. Oh, a deluxe figure. That would be an all-timer for me. Hopefully one day we get that here. But I definitely like the looks of this. Have to imagine this kind of doubles as a stand for her. Uh-oh, she might be a little hard to stand. We'll see. I'm sure you just got to kind of move it around to... Yep, exactly. Move it around to get it to where you want it to be. But she can definitely rule the Snake Empire. There's no doubt about it. A very fun figure. A very cool figure. A very creepy figure at the end of the day. Uh, but, of course, you pair her up with King Hiss. And, man, Snake Men are really taking over. They're multiplying. They're Snake people all the time. Do we have more Snake Men than Skeletor Henchmen at this point? Is Skeletor just folded his tent and went off somewhere else and now the snake men have totally taken over things boy it sure does seem that way uh, they're going to make a mass exodus back over to snake mountain recapture that and the rest is going to be history i think at this point but king hiss right there and of course we saw in the packaging design you got old Fangor. I, I feel like there's a love triangle right here between these two just looking at that packaging design things like that very well could be but Fangor, another mattel creations exclusive i think he was the last one before her so it's uh, keeping it all in the family the snake men family I guess at the end of the day and then I was thinking about you know just grabbed one of these this is from that snake men box set an all-timer of a box set some amazing artwork on that set too but the cool thing is you can really turn anybody into a snake man uh, with a snake tail if you want to you can use any of the other snake men heck you can use he-man if you want to you can say orko was doing a spell and messed up and turned a uh, mecha neck into half uh, snake half mecha neck and there you go, you can do that. But uh, your imagination can take you as far as you want to with something like this, which I think is fairly cool. It's always something fun to do. Uh, so you can use some of these other snake men for things. Do whatever you want to do. Choose your own adventure, as we always do say here on this channel. Bam, staying right there. And then, of course, I mentioned Tila and Eva Lynn. Very, very similar to her, as you can imagine. Uh, a lot of reuse between them. But, man, I'm here for it all day long. Definitely very cool. Definitely good-looking figures here. There's no doubt about it. I like this a lot. I'm just sad that it wasn't a mainline release. And I thought they, they must have thought they couldn't get a deluxe line like this to really do well at retail. I don't know. Moss Man seems to be doing all right, but he does have a very expensive price point. And I don't know. Maybe this one would have been $50 if she was at retail. So I guess maybe Mattel Creations was a good thing for our wallets for those of us that did pick her up. But a fun one. The Snake Man Army grows. Man, I'm going to have a whole shelf full of just origin Snake Man figures. And she's going to be right there front and center. There's no doubt about it. And I think I'm going to have to open up my second one so I can display both looks. I think there's no doubt about that there. But definitely a fun figure. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? Did you pick this one up? You playing the long game, the eBay long game? Or did you miss out on ordering this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the other channel, Kyle Peterson 2.0 and Kyle Peterson Kyle Peterson 1.0, I guess. Uh, but make sure you subscribe to both those channels. we got content every single day on both of them and a lot of fun stuff coming on both of them. You don't want to miss, so make sure you hit the old notification bell while you are there. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. It's all going on down over there the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Lady Slither and Snakes Everywhere, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.